bad. It's you, pal. You bring me luck. Round of drinks, Jimmy. Drinks on this gentleman right here! Hey, I, uh... I'm gonna use the John. Yeah, 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 good idea. How's Carlotta doing? Pregnancy, man, you have no idea what yeah. that does to a woman. Still not sleeping, no, huh? No, no, but she did tell me to thank you for the herbs. She said it's really helping her with the morning sick. Oh, just say the word, man, I can get you an endless supply of that stuff. Honestly, anytime, you let me know, bro. Good <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. yeah. Victor needs his money key. Okay, but the the game I just watched is one. You get fifty nine thousand dollars in the hole, my brother. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, I got a client coming. He's paying me fifteen thousand dollars cash. Every penny goes to you. Fifteen thousand. Tomorrow. Mm hmm. Are you hearing me? Not greater this year, but yeah. Pay your debts. Oh. Come on, key. Where's your dignity? Indication it's gonna be a good one. 5300, Jerry. I'll take a check. What okay, cash is preferred? I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? I'm broke. You know, you sit at this table, and the general assumption is you have the cash to get involved. That's how adult poker works. This is what I get for playing with another lawyer. What the hell, Jerry? What the hell? I can make it up to you. I have a client. Total walk in the park. Take two minutes of your day. Is it paid $5,300? In cash, no. In publicity and exposure, huge. You know, you're a real deadbeat, Jerry. Real deadbeat. Where, where is your dignity? All any of us have at the end of the day is our dignity. <laughs> Key. Oh, or something. Key, get up. Zoe, go get Uncle Key's robe. You two put your dishes in the sink and get ready for school. And hey, 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 don't tell mom about this. This is not cool. I don't need my kids seeing you this way. What way? Drunk and hungover. That's enough, guys. Get going. This is our home. You can't come stumbling in at dawn. Is this my 25 year old scotch? You gotta find someplace else to crash, Key. This is not working. No, you don't mean that. Hey. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Come on, this is you, me, Scarlet. This is like old times again, you know? Back in college, under one roof. You were supposed to be here one week, maybe two. It's been four months, Key. If Scarlet finds out you were passed out in front of the kids, we'll both be dead. Or worse, it'll be a conversation. God, I hate when she says that. Right. You gotta get out. No. I'm not gonna let you kick me out, Ben. Really? Because that's gonna make you feel bad about you, and I'm not gonna do that to my best friend. I won't feel bad. What time is it? I've gotta run. Oh my God! Who's this? Uh, Kistan... Kistania? Jasmine. You can't be here. If my wife sees you... Right. Come on, you gotta let's go. Out. We gotta, gotta walk go. back. Come You'll on. have to climb a fence, but it's not that high. Oh. I'll call you. You don't have my number. Doesn't matter, he's not gonna call. Oh. What? murder 
murders. Jack Tarrant is currently serving a sentence of life plus a thousand years and will be back in court today to face a ninth homicide charge after... Hey, lovely guy, huh? I'm entering his plea today. These your pants? I found them on the piano. Yes, they are. I actually had them over there for the piano polish of the, all this. Yeah, that's what I assume. And why is there a woman climbing my fence in my side yard? I love the neighborhood. I told you, you guys are a little close to the 10 freeway. Key, did you bring a woman into my home last night with the intent of... <gasps> in the closet behind the skates! With the intent of having sex with her in my son's bed? We're both lawyers, Scarlett. If you're gonna make an accusation like that, you're gonna need some pretty compelling evidence. She left her earrings. That's pretty compelling. Hi. Hey, what were you doing outside? The cover came off the barbecue. This is gonna be a conversation. I did, I did that. I couldn't have shook my head. And that, man, you, you didn't yes. say anything. No, it means the reverse. I the was reverse trying to cover you. Hold on. Hello. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Hold, hold on a second. Then let me have the Listen to me. I'm serious. Okay. We're married. We have children. We're boring. Don't bring your wild and crazy lifestyle into this house ever again. You understand? I understand. That we will have a conversation about this. No, of course I want him to get his license. Maddie, I'll do it. I promise. This weekend, I'll wake up bright and early. I'll hop in my car. My car. Where, where is my... Where is my car? Where's my... Complicated key. It is. The permit parking signs in this neighborhood are it's insane. Just hang the permit it's up. Easier to follow in Chinese. Mm. Stephen Hawking couldn't figure out those signs. I know he'd have handicapped plates, so it wouldn't be an issue. All right, all right. You can take the SUV, but you gotta take the kids to school. Oh, and the Lopez girls two doors down. You gotta take them too. Great. Thing. Okay, baby. Please promise me you will drive very, very safely. Like you need to even say that. Come on, you guys, we're late. Oh. Come on. There you go, the fabulous Lopez girl. You guys married? No, are you? I'm not getting mixed up with a couple of heartbreakers like you, I'll tell you that right now. My gosh. You know you got a tail light out? It's not my car. Well, that wasn't my question, sir. I, I didn't know about the tail light because <laughs> it's not my car, but I, I'll pass that information on to the owner. Thank you. License and registration, please. I don't know <clears throat> where she uh, keeps her registration. I keep mine in a glove box in my car. I don't have my car. You guys towed mine today. Not you personally. Your department did. Oh, my God, just please shut up. A little bit of a mistake. A boo boo. So I gotta beat the bell here. Let me go ahead and give you a... that. Here. Were you wary driving with an expired license, sir? I I had a birthday. <sighs> Two years ago. Yeah, that one. These your children? Yes. No! No, 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 no they're not, they're not, they're not. Not my kids. Sir, you can no longer operate this vehicle. I suggest you contact the parents of these children immediately. If they can't come claim them, they'll be taken and held to child services. I'm gonna need you to pass me the keys. Thank you. All right. Stay inside the vehicle, please. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Zoe, hey, 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 hey. I know what we're not, not, Nobody's going to jail. Zoe. So Scarlett. Hi, it's Scarlett. Leave a message. Scarlett, it's Keegan. Uh, give me a call. Got a hiccup. Please tell me Brickman showed up. He did. Okay, he paid? Yes. All 15,000? Slightly complicated. What is that? 
the complication. Why is that a fish? Mr. Brickman has paid you in tune, Aki. I'm a jackass. Get him on the phone. He owes me fifteen thousand dollars. I want to talk down. to him right He's now. He's arranged for a sushi place in Arcadia to purchase your fish for twenty thousand. No, he hasn't. Get him on the phone. I He's just talked to them at the restaurant. They've heard about this fish and they're very excited. They said they might be willing to pay as much as twenty-five thousand for it. Totally on the level. Fish is a big deal. It's a Pacific bluefin. It was caught off Fiji and was headed to the world famous Sukishi fish market before it was appropriated. Should I still get Mr. Brinkman on the phone? I don't know, hold on, hold on. 25 grand? All you have to do is deliver it to them. Well, I can't. I don't have a car, I got towed. Even if I did, I don't have a license. Well, I can't take it, my car's in the shop. And I can't set it free until you pay me the 1300 in back salary you owe me. But don't you see, Leanne, I can pay you the 1300 if you help me get this fish out of Arcadia. I'll borrow a car. Okay, great. Roy! Hey, no, we're good, we're good. No, I got the 15 grand. Yeah. No, I'm looking at the money right now. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, load that thing up, go out this afternoon. You're the best. Talking to me or the fish? Yep. Fish, probably. You okay? Mm. This will be easy, it's just quick guilty plea in and out, okay? It's gonna be a bit of a press circus up there, though. In fact, I'll give a statement and cut me off after three questions, okay, Kurt? Sure. All right, here we go. I'll give a quick statement. I'll do a couple of questions. Who the hell is that? K.L. Gilbert, the process key. His trial starts today? Can we just go? Yeah. yeah. Make the news? Huh? Not enough. A little sad commentary on society when a second rate Bernie Madoff trumps a serial killer, right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a slight delay to the proceedings. The prosecutor is running late. Didn't I do a TV movie a, a while back uh, on oh. your situation? Who played you in that? Mark Harmon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was good. good. He won a Golden Globe. Oh, yeah. I'll just give those away. Hey, I, uh, I wrote him a letter because I had this brilliant idea of a sequel. Mm. So, uh, Kirby, do you mind giving him the letter? All right. Can you make sure that Mark gets this? Sure, yeah. Thank you. I'm so very sorry, Your Honor. I had to make an emergency visit to child services. Maybe if the prosecutor would answer her phone, Your Honor. I'm just saying. I did call. Mr. Dean. How does your client plead? Uh, your Honor, on behalf of my client, Jack Jorgensen Tarrant, he's instructed me on his behalf to enter a plea of guilty. Not guilty. Uh, sorry. Guilty. <laughs> Not guilty. guilty. No, guilty. You're entering guilty plea. You've already confessed. I'll do the talking. Guilty, Your, your Honor. Not guilty. Your Honor, may I speak to you in chambers, please? This was supposed to be easy. In, guilty plea, out. That was it. Belinda, I can't take this case. There's no way. Well, you filed a notice of appearance, I David. was helping out Jerry. I mean, this guy is insane. He, he confessed 72 hours ago. Now he's recanting. He's nuts. This is your case. You should have thought it through before you filed the notice, just like you should have thought through other recent choices. Hey, I'm not the one to bust the tail light, lady. Are you hey. Yeah, and I called you about six times. You hey. have been hurt. My children, you yes. have been hey. dangerous. I see no reason why you should be excused from this case. After all, the trial should only last two or three months, four at the moment. That's not funny, okay? This guy is in jail. He can't pay. I'm gonna work four months gratis? You think that's an argument? No, I don't. You're right, I'm sorry. And the truth is, I can't because I have five other cases pending right now. Name one. Excuse me? Name one. That's what I thought. The case is yours. And I should point out that if your client is unrepentant, pleads not guilty, and forces the city to waste money on a trial, 
we will have no choice but to seek the death penalty. Well, you can forget about that, Rad, because he's guilty as hell, and that's how he's going to plead, okay? Give me five minutes with him. I'll get it done. Son of a bitch is guilty. All my clients are guilty. Look, I'm really busy. I got a very powerful man I have to meet with later today. I've got some pressing financial matters. I got a fish I have to get out to Arcadia. And you're guilty. You're guilty, Jack. And let me be clear about this. If you plead not guilty, the state is gonna seek the death penalty, okay? You can't kill me, I got a deal. You have a deal for eight murders, not nine. And that mayor across the street there, he's trying to look tough on crime right now. It only helps him to see you fry. <laughs> the mayor wouldn't be where he is today without me. He made a career out of my trial. No, I'm gonna die for something I didn't do. I didn't kill those people. Okay. This is Jerry's case. I'm gonna talk to Jerry. Jerry's gonna deal with this. Now listen, I never murdered anyone. You confessed to nine murders. They made me confess. They told me, if you don't confess, you're gonna get the death penalty. So I made a deal. I didn't want to die. I had no choice. This is your latest confession, okay? This is from three days ago. Are you telling me somebody made you write that too? Yep. Bernie Michaels, you wrote it. All I did was copy whatever he wrote. I did the same thing for all nine. Bernie Michaels, the chief of robbery and homicide at the LAPD? Yes. It's not some regular cop you're talking about here, Jack. Well, he was a regular cop when I confessed to those first eight murders. Then after he put me away, he wasn't so regular anymore, was he? Hey. Hey, honey. Sorry I'm late. Got held up by a serial killer. Mm. I'm not kidding. Jack Tarrant, West Side Ripper. You know what I told him? He said, you may have killed all those people with your hands. I know this one girl. She could kill somebody with her smile. That's what I said to him. No smile? Maybe later. Oh, come on. What, are you mad at me because I'm a little late? No, Key, I expect you to be late. You're a very busy man. There are clearly many, many other things in your life that take precedence. Oh, so this is passive aggressive. I can do the non-passive version. Would you like that? I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. Want to play a little backgammon? Sure. You know, Nikki, this, you and I, this is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a refuge from the miseries of the real world. You know, this is supposed to be like Maui, all warm breezes and Gorgeous sunset. Well, you missed the warm breezes. They blew through like 40 minutes ago. Hey, can I point out one thing? Sure. Yeah, and I want to be um, you know, super delicate about this, Mickey, but let's not forget one basic fact. What? That I'm a prostitute. Yes, that's it, bingo. That's, I didn't want to say it, but I don't want to come here for $500 and have you be pissed at me when I can go get that for free from practically every other woman I've ever met. When you're late, Keegan, it shows basic lack of respect, and that's actually damaging to any professional relationship. All right, I, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. Listen, Nikki, this time's important to me, all right? I do respect it. It means a lot. Oh boy, you're starting to quiver a little bit on the outside. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Up, no, no, no. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. So next week, don't be late. Come on. Oh, you come on. Oh, I know. No, I'm getting the money right now. I just, I know. I'm sorry. I had a little delay. I'm okay. Bye -bye. A few minutes. Can I call you right back? Yes. Yes, I promise. It's good stuff, guys. That's the real deal right there. This is. Uh, that's all. That's grade A stuff right there. Mm -hmm. huh? The eye color, the markings, is on its way to the Fukushima fish market. Tsukiji. Fukushima is the reactor plant that blew up. 
Uh, what's, what's he doing right there? Uh, he has to probe the fish to check the fat content. Okay, well maybe he asked permission next time. I'm sort of new to the business, but it seems like a common courtesy. Huh? Hey. He said the fish isn't fatty enough, so he only paid 14,000. 14? No, no, what happened to 25,000? What happened to 25? Look at this thing, this is a fat bastard. I tried lugging it around in this cooler. He said the fish is a two. That fish is a 10, sir. That's a 10 that you're looking at right there. One is best. Then, it, then it's a one, or at least it was before he started probing it with that thing. How do I even know it's clean? Look, guys, look, look, look at this, look at this. Okay. You, don't touch the fish with your bare hands. You never what? do that. All right, all right. Now, what are you doing? You want to say that you're going to say that you're going to say that you're going to say that now, only 10,000. No deal. 25,000. That was the deal we had. You know what? You guys just lost yourself a great fish. Yeah. It's called sayonara. Heard that term? Put that back in the trunk, Leanne. Sorry, sir. Would you, would you mind? Hi, hi, go ahead. No? I didn't know Benny Michaels could write, let alone write a bestseller. You know, I thought Tarant's story about all these confessions was him trying to save his own skin. I think there might be something here. Not according to this book, there isn't. The murders. Uh, Tarant confessed to killing his neighbor first, this 19-year-old uh, Linda Purcell in Venice. She lives alone, runs a small shop, wore leg braces, basically a shut-in. He went to her house, he strangles her, okay? It's always been your exceptional standard of clients that's kept me loyal. Right, the second murder, 19-year-old college student in Westwood. She's also strangled. Okay, so I grant you that. There's a little bit of a connection there. All right, fine. But this third one, this is a middle-aged woman in Culver City. She's beaten to death. But there's a there's a couple of abrasions around her neck. And then this fourth one is a... This guy's in Santa Monica. It's a man. He's a 33-year-old African-American man. He's stabbed. I thought serial killers found the specialty and stuck to it. Exactly. Torrance all over the place. I really think Michaels was just using Durant to clean up a bunch of crap around the department and make a name for himself, which he did. The Tarrant confessed. People get railroaded by the cops all the time. I mean, Michaels is the key. He's the one who got Tarrant to confess. What, to nine murders he didn't commit? My God, you see what's unfolding here, Leanne? If what I'm thinking is true, then every single one of these cases would have to be retried. I, I could be handling one of the biggest retrials in the history of the city in the civil suit, my God. Not to mention you'd be helping free an innocent man. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, that too. That this could be fifty million, a hundred million dollars. Do you think it could be a hundred? Do you? I don't know. It's a tantalizing thought, Key, but that money, even if it does arrive, is a long way off, and I need my car back sometime before I die. I spoke to Mr. Brinkman. He's found a restaurant in Seal Beach that's willing to buy your fish for fifteen thousand. That's the address. Great. Get it after court. Chief Michaels, you took this latest confession from Mr. Turan, did you not? Take a look at that. I did. You don't have officers under your command could have done that sort of thing? Mr. Tarrant sought me out. All right, so you took the confession. I told you I did. Did you also give it? Excuse me? I'm sorry, I'm... I don't know. <laughs> get tongue-tied sometime. Did you also write out the confession for Mr. Tarrant and then have him copy it in his own handwriting? No. And I don't like what you're suggesting. So you never wrote out this confession for Mr. Trant. You never did that, right, Chief? And remember, you're under oath. I never wrote anything out for Jack Tarrant. Why would I do that? That's a great question. I'd like to answer that, Your Honor. Let's think back 10 years ago. OK, you're not Chief Michaels at that point. You're just some lowly officer kicking around the LAPD at the time, who I believe was being investigated on certain counts of misconduct. Objection. Your Honor. Overruled. So you're seeing your career just it's like disappearing right before your eyes. You're under an extraordinary amount of pressure from all these unsolved murders that are making the department look bad, and you get a break. You pick up Jack Tarrant's suspicion of murdering this young woman. After a couple of days, you extract a confession, and pretty soon, it's kudos to you. You know, it's a big collar. Great work. And then you extract another confession from my client, and another and another, and another, and another, and before you know it, everybody's celebrating you because you've nailed Jack the West Side Ripper, or whatever the hell his name is. And then you write a bestseller, and before you know it, you're on your way to becoming chief. And that, 
is exactly why I think you'd do it. Who do you think you're talking to? I think I'm talking to somebody who just perjured themselves. Oh, Daughter! 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 until the LAPD is held accountable for any and all wrongdoing in this case. There will be justice for Jack Tarrant, not to mention substantial damages against the city. Thank you all. I'll have a comment later. Mr. Dean. Mr. Dean, what's in the cooler? Wouldn't Bernie Michaels from the LAPD like to know that? Well, at this point, Mr. Dean is short on facts and long on wild speculation. Chief Michaels has spent his professional life in service to the city of Los Angeles, and he has my complete and unwavering support. Thank you. What the hell, Bernie? What the copper bottom, mother of pearl, and holy hell? Hey, that was me. I was the one up there having my professional integrity questioned by I that- I put Taron away based on the confessions you gave me. If anything's wrong with them, I promise you, none of this stink is landing on me. Oh, great show of support, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much. Those confessions are rock solid. You better hope so. They were obtained cleanly. That Keegan Dean. I'd like to meet him in a dark alley real soon. He's your friend. What is he doing? His job, as far as I can tell. Well, if he's your friend, why don't you tell him to back off? Really, Bernie? You don't think that would be some kind of indication that maybe he was onto something? Enough! Just tell me I have nothing to worry about, Bernie. That's all I want to hear. You have nothing to worry about. I swear it on the lives of your wife and kids. Well, you know, Alan Dershowitz was about my age now when he defended Klaus Van Bulow. That case was a game changer for him. Do you see yourself as a young Dershowitz? Yeah, I mean, this, this Trant case is exciting. I mean, it could be a good thing for me. I'm doing Greta Van Susteren. You're doing Greta Van Susteren? Well, I'm not doing her. I mean, I'm doing the show. You're excited about this? Well, it's going to be a lot of exposure. It could be good. What about your client? Who? Well, you seem more focused on how this interest will benefit you rather than how it could help your client's case. Do you think that seems a little self-obsessed? Even narcissistic? I'm a lot of things, Doc. But I'm not a narcissist. You believe that? Yes. Okay. What? Nothing. It's just... I had a dream about you last night. <laughs> Tell me. Well, the two of us were alone here in my office. And I was seated across from you, trying to be my usual controlled self. But your scent just overpowered me. I had to have you. So I climbed on top of you, and I stared down at you. I leaned in close and said, you are incredible. Because after all this time, after our marriage, after our divorce, you still possibly think I want to get it on with you. Narcissist. Hey, Ma, what are you doing on top of Dad? Well, I'm not doing anything. I was just trying to prove a point to your father. I'm making the point that she's still into me. Stop it, Keegan. I am not. You here for another free therapy session? No, I'm actually being an excellent father, and I'm taking you for a driving lesson. I'm good on who? Van. Van Susteren, on the record. Right. Yeah, where are we going? Seal Beach. Great place to drive when you're learning. Uh, Dad, can I ask you a favor? No, oh, probably. I'm a little short right now. No, so. no, it's not that. It's just, um, if Mom asks, can you tell her that I was seeing with you last Friday night? Where were you last Friday? It's probably better that you don't know. Finn, I don't like the idea of lying to your mother. 
you know? It's no good, pal. I've been there before. Got caught a heap of times, trust me. No, seriously, you really don't want to know. This way, Mom never ends up finding out you have plausible deniability. <laughs> plausible deniability, huh? Exactly. But, Dad, we've got each other's backs, right? Okay, okay. Don't ask me again now, okay? Yeah. Oh, Roy. Hey. No, I was just about to call you. I was. Hey, Dad. Dad. Is that, is that the freeway? No, I'm on my way with the cash right now. Yeah. Uh, no, Dad, Dad I, can't, I can't do the freeway. I don't know how to do that thing. What thing? The merging thing. I... Yeah. Roy, I, I don't... I, I think that would Dad, hurt me a lot. Dad. I don't like Dad. the sound of it. Dad, I can't... Lesson one, we don't just stop oh. on ramp. Mom's gonna kill me. Hey. It's okay. Every everybody gets in an accident sooner or later. Really. You just got yours out of the way sooner than most people. It's good. What are you looking at? I'm just trying to get a little color. I have a show tomorrow. Hey, you guys need a lift back to my station? Uh, any chance you can swing us by Seal Beach? No. All right, go to the station. Come on. Are you surprised by the actions of the LAPD? No, no, this is nothing new for the LAPD. Rodney King, Rampart. This is an organization that's been defined by scandal, as far as I'm concerned. It's as if uh, once one black eye heals, they punch themselves in the face again, Greta. Now, Mayor Marcus Barsman made his name prosecuting Tarrant. What's his involvement in all this? Well, that's a typically great question from you, and who knows? This is a man who built his career by sentencing an innocent man to a thousand years in prison, so I, you know. Keegan Dean in Los Angeles, thank you for talking with us. Thank you, Greta, thank you. And let me just say, uh, uh, big fan, and we have a number of people in the legal community out, out here. We're off the air. Okay, feet is down. No, no, I'm not bitter. I try not to feel like a victim. That's all. Well, if Bernie Michaels manipulated you, if he wrote your confessions and promised you wouldn't face the death penalty, which is what you're saying happened, then this is really the story of a criminal mastermind, Michaels, and an unfortunate innocent dupe, you. But I'm not a dupe. <laughs> if anything, it was more like a two-way street to a partnership almost. What are you implying, Mr. Tarrant? I'm just telling the truth. If you don't want to hear the truth, it's okay. You seem so agitated. Because people assume things, including you. You call me a dupe? Maybe you got it switched around, Greta. Maybe you got it switched around, Greta? I'm not a dupe. We had a deal. That's all I was saying. No, it isn't. You were suggesting in there that you were manipulating Bernie Michaels. You were doing it. Is that what you think happened? Is that what happened? Is this latest confession your idea, Jack? Of course, right? Ten years have gone by. No books anymore. No more letters with marriage proposals. Mark Harmon's not returning your calls. What could it hurt? You confessed to one last murder you didn't commit. Hey, you'd be famous again. The only crime I've committed was being Linda Purcell's neighbor. I got 30 years. <laughs> Suddenly I was worse than a nobody. I was a nobody in prison until Bernie came with another murder. I confessed to that one too. All of a sudden the guys in the prison, they started to show me a little respect by confession number eight. I was somebody. You're a couple of serial fame whores. God, marriage made in heaven. Bernie needed a serial killer and what? You were happy to become one, huh? I don't deserve to die for that, do I? No, I can get you out of here. So if Tarrant were to win 50 million, how much would we get? We? Yes, we. Since when are you and I we? Seriously? You'd have to be getting at least 15 million. So after four years of abject servitude, you couldn't spare one lousy million. Okay, okay, we don't have the money yet. Have this conversation further down the track, all right? After you've had me deported. How's he doing? 
His eyes are turning milky. Roy? Yeah. You're definitely going to retrial on all these cases. Can we have five minutes, please? Yeah? I can prove Bernie Michaels wrote your confessions for you. Look at this. This first one. Circled in red. I must have blacked out. Must have. Instead of the grammatically correct must have or the contraction must have. I should have never gone there. Should have. Not should have. Bernie Michaels, he's chief in one of the biggest police departments in the world. And his grammar is shameful. And this, is this enough? No. That's what? why I got the galleys, the original, uncorrected galleys of his book. Look here. There must have been a reason. I should have made the connection sooner. This is a pattern. It all spells retrial to me. Or in your case, retrials. Bernie. Such an idiot. I told you. <laughs> you got me in and I was getting me off. Thank you. I wish. God, I wish. Why? Because if you and I could go the whole distance with this thing, you son of a bitch, we'd be wealthy men. But there's that first case, right? Huh? Linda Purcell? Remember this confession? She lived next door. I talked to her and asked her out. She said no like I was nobody. She shouldn't have said that. She shouldn't have said that. Bernie Michaels may have taken this confession, but he didn't write it. The form and the structure, it's, it's all wrong. It's a little like your letter to Mark Harmon. Remember this? You shouldn't have stopped taking my call. Linda Purcell was nothing. She's still nothing. You're my lawyer. This is gonna be our little secret. You can't tell anybody. No, no, I can't. But you should understand that the DA is gonna spend every single cent they have to find out what I already did and when they do. Remember, all deals are off the table, Jack. And so when you're found guilty of murdering Linda Purcell all over again, it'll be death. That's one way to go. What's the other way? We make a deal. Bernie Michaels is thrown under the bus where he belongs. You're acquitted of the eight other murders. Your original 30-year sentence is reinstated for killing Linda Purcell. The bottom line, Jack, it's either death or you go back to being nobody. It's your call. Due to uh, revelations of wrongdoing in the Tarrant case, I am ordering a full investigation into this matter, as well as any other cases handled by former Chief Bernie Michaels. <laughs> as an innocent, trusting, an unknowing participant in this miscarriage of justice. I vow here today to follow this investigation no matter how high it may lead and to punish any wrongdoers to the fullest extent of the law. And I'd like to thank uh, <clears throat> Mr. Keegan Dean, who was obviously very instrumental in bringing this situation to light. Mr. Dean, I thank you. And the city of Los Angeles thanks you. That's all. That was Mayor Barsman clearly in damage control after it was revealed that Jack Tarrant... Thank you for that, Mr. Mayor. Not at all necessary, but greatly appreciated. I've always believed, Mr. Dean, that relationships should be reciprocal arrangements. And you have no idea how difficult you've made my life recently expect reciprocity. So much for my civil suit, my hundred million dollars. Now it's just me and my tuna. Gentlemen at Seal Beach are still willing to purchase, but they're only offering 3,000. Fine, sold. There is good news. Impound lock call, they found your car. I texted you the address. I'm going. Get my car. I'm driving to Seal Beach. You don't have a license. I'm going to break the law.
Keith and Dean. I got a car here. Mr. Dean. Dean. We've been uh, waiting for you. Yeah. Hey, Frank. Keegan Dean is here to pick up his car. <laughs> That's good. Uh, that'll be three hundred dollars. <laughs> Your car's in space nine. <laughs> Congratulations, Key. You're now the only person living in Los Angeles without a car. <laughs> <laughs> We're so sorry, Key. It's just so funny. It's perfectly fine, Scarlett. with Mr. D. That's right. You're insane. You really are. Go with some more fish. I I live to serve. G. Need to see you. Key? Uh, it's a friend of mine. It, it's okay. Friend. All right, listen, uh, meet me around front, all right? I'll come out in a couple minutes, we can talk. Ah, uh, your time is up. And we won't be doing much talking. Victor's very upset, so I'm gonna have to. Is that tuna? Looks fresh. It is. This is amazingly fresh. I don't know how much you know about tuna, Roy. This is, this is a two. You don't say. There you go. Thank you. So, Roy, how do you know Keegan? I'm trying to collect this $59,000 he owes my boss. <laughs>